Okay, sounds good. See you on Monday. Welcome to Markham Stova. Good morning. On behalf of everybody at Markham Stovall Hospital, welcome. We are so pleased that you decided to join our dynamic organization. MSH is an organization that encourages its employees to engage actively with the Markham, Stovall, and Uxbridge communities. Our people deliver safe, high quality care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At MSH, we take pride in developing creative ways to provide our communities the care it needs. Come with me as we take a look at the innovative programs provided at Markham Stovall Hospital. We'll learn how these programs are positively impacting the lives of our patients and their families. So I've been here for over 15 years, and the thing that probably makes me and most of our department proud is the nature of our teamwork. What you'll find is an unpredictable environment, but a, a team that uh, rises to any occasion and works together to provide patient care and um, have things work out for our patients. The pilot project that we're running, it's called DashMD. It's essentially a self-login application on a smartphone where you can look at your follow-up information and book appointments once you've left the department if you have questions or concerns or if your symptoms change. The Atlas program is a day treatment program that the hospital offers. We go as young as 12 potentially to 18 is our cap. We service students that struggle with depression or an anxiety issue that prevents them from attending school on a regular basis. Part of our job is to help people find success in their life and to overcome some very difficult times. So when we help others in our job, they become very successful or they find a level of coping that allows them to kind of move forward. The interaction I have, I was part of the Atlas program for about three to four months about in my late high school career. What I was doing was rigorous schooling that was supposed to help me to come back to high school on a consistent basis. Going through the Atlas program, when I was not feeling how I should have been, I would have never imagined coming here. Just coming and going through that and sticking with it was able to allow me to really fully realize my potential as a student and as a person. NICU Connect is our FaceTime and Skype program that we've set up um, to allow parents some access to visualize their babies, to participate in rounds if they can't be present at 10 o'clock when our rounds happen. That's a nice service that we can offer them. I feel the proudest when I know that I can make a difference for a family, whether it's something small like offering them a quiet place to be if they just need a moment, um, or if it's something larger like being part of the team that saves their baby's life that day. Bringing uh, different students uh, to the party program over the years has always been interesting because of the dynamics that play out with each of the groups and some of the groups are very familiar with partying and uh, aspects of that and, and more risky behavior and, and other groups uh, a lot less so. Well I think for me the difference that the program made was like especially with driving because I just got my G2 at the time and we talked about things like texting and driving, drinking and driving, speeding. Uh, I realized how dangerous it could be. Being part of the party program, you learn a lot and it really helps with me taking control, especially with my mom. Sometimes she would have a glass of wine with her friends and she'll be like, oh yeah, I'm fine to go home, but you know, I don't know where she's at. Especially now that I have my G2, it's safer because then I'd be like, okay mom, it's fine, like I'll take the car. And so like I'm also aware of everything that's going on so that I can also take safety precautions and make sure my mom's safe. We run the Dr. Bear program every Wednesday evening for children ages 4 to 12 coming for surgery. We invite our families into the hospital and we show them um, what the hospital looks like going into the operating room, the recovery room, and we do it in child-friendly language. This program is very different because a lot of other hospitals don't take the kids into the operating room. And we're able to give them the ride on that bed, looking at the medical equipment. We find that when they walk through the door after this program, they're walking through with confidence because they know what's gonna happen and they've been taught in the way that they would understand for a child. I'm Sherry, I'm the COPD educator. The clinic started about 10 years ago with Dr. Dancy and Dr. Force. 
It's a program geared towards mostly COPD, but maybe a handful is just pure COPD. I like to think that I'm able to help them lead a better quality of life to patients, that they can take that initial step through the door and do more than when they first came to see us. Well, I came into Markham Stouffville with COPD many times. The exercise program that they have started is marvelous. Before I got involved in this, I had pretty well given up. You know, okay, fine, I've got COPD, I can't breathe, I'm gonna be like this for the rest of my life. What's the point of going on? It's made me want to live again. I felt as if I was a person. I wasn't just a name on a chart. They were doing what was good for me. I feel really proud to work at the Experts site, and it's a privilege for me to be able to care directly for the people that I, I'm friends with and I'm neighbors with when they come into the hospital looking for care. I've found it really easy to make really strong relationships with those people that I work with at Uxbridge, both uh, the colleagues and the staff, and we know something about each other's lives which makes it really special and it makes it easy to come to work and work with those that we really care for. To all those who are here that have decided to join our organization and are coming to the Uxbridge site, we give you a really warm welcome and we're really looking forward to you being part of our team and part of our family in Uxbridge. Um, it really is a family atmosphere and uh, we're really excited to have you join us. I find Markham Silva Hospital a wonderful place to work. Everyone's very, very friendly, everyone's very approachable and I like the fact that you know we can go to the different areas and department and there's communication. I would say to just find what area you love because it's a great place to work. You won't find anywhere better. Um, and if you love the patient population that you're working with, then it's not really ever going to feel like work. Many of us have been here for many years and the thing we, we value the most is the culture of our place. So you're walking into an organization that values its staff, that appreciates independence, appreciates critical thinking, and expects it. There's lots of patients at all hours of the day and anything can happen and just feel like if you're coming to the emergency department you need help wayfinding or finding a patient or you have questions, uh, our staff should be most willing to help you out, let us know that you're new and generally speaking uh, we do our best to go out of our way to help people integrate into the hospital.